Hello, welcome to the Matthew Horton Art Channel again. Um, today I'm going to try and do a self-portrait in charcoals. I was um, asked to do a self-portrait in the last live stream when I asked what people might like to see me do this coming month. So I'm going to have a go at it. I haven't done many portraits recently um, and charcoal is a bit experimental at the moment. Uh, those of you who saw the last video will have seen that I did a charcoal um, for the first time, a male nude in that case. I struggled with the size of that um, in that it was only on an A4 piece of paper. This is a slightly larger piece of paper and I'm only concentrating on my face. I'm working from a photograph that I took earlier. Um, so hopefully I should be able to get something that looks something like me. I'm not the best at likenesses, but let's see how we get on. Starting just to draw with the charcoal, I've put this sort of brow line in there to, to indicate that the head is at a slight angle. Marking in the main features. You can see with the charcoal how, how erasable it is. It's almost like sort of carving the the portrait out of the paper in a very soft way. So using the finger sort of gets rid of most of the charcoal mark. It's really nice to be working with charcoal again after such a long time. This is something I struggle with all the way through. You'll see I return to it a lot. Decided the eye was slightly too far apart there. So I removed it. But you can see how easy it is to remove things. I'm building up very, very gradually by just applying charcoal and then smudging it. Getting the darker areas where I want to get them and then just using the the thin willow charcoal to draw the lines and the details. I do have very different shaped eyes, left and right. <laughs> so that's difficult in itself. I'm certainly not symmetrical when it comes to my face. Just putting the hair in there to give some darker tone, which will allow me to build up the shadows to, to indicate the shape of the face. Now I've got the darkest on there. Returning to the nose. Still the wrong shape entirely. <laughs> and also at the wrong angle, if you look at the, the bottom of the nose, I'm just correcting that there now. The nostril on the left was far too high. The photograph that I took was with side lighting, um, so with shadows raking across the face really. To try and give me something to work with. So you can see how nothing is fixed at all um, on this. Just changing the size of the iris there as well. Still struggling with that nose, erased again. <laughs> I'll definitely be doing more charcoal because I'm just looking at this back, it's it's really nice how you can sort of gradually carve something out of what you're looking at. Making tiny changes just to try and get the likeness. The 
beard I, that I've got is, or the goatee that I've got is, was actually quite difficult to sort of represent here because it's quite grizzled really. So there's a lot of white in it in places, but I didn't want the white to interfere with the shadow values. Um, so I've ended up doing the beard darker generally than it is in real life. I suppose if I was using a, a chalk pencil or something or a pastel pencil, I could have indicated the white in the beard. But this is just using the charcoal. You can see at various times I'm sort of reclaiming some from the shadow by using the putty rubber, which pretty much allows you to remove everything that you've done. Also using the smudge sticks, which I uh, discovered afterwards aren't torsions, as I said in the last video, tortillons or tortillons is what they are. You can make them out of rolled up bits of newspaper if you haven't got any. I think it's starting to get there in terms of looking like me. I don't say it actually looks like me, but if I was lined up with uh, 20 or so people, you'd probably pick me out of the list. <laughs> thing uh, to this point has taken about an hour so quite a long time really still trying to indicate that light that's coming across the face there Pretty much there now. Well, this is the final self portrait. I did a slight amount of tinkering after the video stopped, as I normally do. I can continue to look at it. Basically, I just lightened and put some highlights in there to indicate the grizzled half grey, half brown hair. Overall, um, as I say, it took about an hour, just over an hour to do. Um, it's not a perfect likeness by any means, but um, I'm fairly pleased that it looks half like me. And also I have done the uh, challenge that I was set in the, the last live stream. So that's one down, another to go. I was also challenged to do some flowers a few months ago now. So that's on the to-do list for this month as well. I do want to do what people ask me to do. So thank you very much for watching. If you're new here and you enjoyed the video, um, do give it a thumbs up, do like it. It'll help me grow. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. I'm trying to get up to the uh, 1,000 subscribers within a year, about over 400 now. So get in there slowly but surely. Okay, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.